Hello all. So we are in the second part of consumer oriented e-commerce. In today's video, we will discuss the second part or the balance of what we have discussed in the first video. Okay. In the first video, we discussed about what are the consumer oriented applications. What all applications will help you uh, to satisfy the customers or will help the organizations to satisfy the customers according to their need. Uh, in that, we were talking about the banking services. So every banking services or financial services uh, which are offered to the customers for their um, well-being and for uh, for them to use it in from their home itself and so many uh, I, uh, examples were also discussed okay so in the first video uh, we were talking about uh, home banking and financial services in which we discussed about the basic services so basic services provided by a bank, what are the basic services, debit cards, account ID and so many withdrawals and everything are the basic uh, services provided by the banking. Right. Next, we will look at the intermediate services. I don't know. Intermediate services is uh, some kind of services like credit card and uh, the credit card will come under uh, advanced also but uh, intermediate services no remember namukku korchum koodi advanced aayittulla overdraft facilities um atms um angane oru baadu karyangalum varunadana intermediate services nu parayunnathu adile nammal atm inde kore varieties kandu and later on we also saw the advanced services which are like credit card credit card is an advanced services and uh, payment of insurance and other things through online everything will come under intermediate and advanced services so in today's video we will talk about the other applications which are like home um, home shopping home entertainment micro transactions and all those things and what does it mean and what are the applications available in today's society and how is it helping the consumer and again in the video okay so uh, let's uh, begin the video with what is home shopping so home shopping is a concept or a um like a concept under this consumer oriented e-commerce this is also a concept of e-commerce so home shopping is a shopping carried out from one's own home by ordering goods advertised in a catalog on television or over internet so uh, you are ordering something by sitting at home okay you are ordering from your own home and you're shopping something so that is known as home shopping in the very very term itself described that is home shopping so now this is classified into television based shopping and catalog based shopping this is very uh, very common ways of e-commerce and that e-commerce is a consumer oriented e-commerce that's one common item we can see a few things we can discuss about so that's what e-commerce is you can see a few things shopping which is done which from your own home is known as home shopping and is classified into television based and catalog based Top. So first one one the time the characteristics and the can home shopping and the can offer in the what are the features so home shopping allows the customers to shop for goods from the privacy of their own home as opposed to traditional shopping so in traditional shopping what we are doing we will go to the marketplace and we'll go to the shops we'll find the shop where we will get these items yes and we will go there in person and we will collect or purchase the goods and or we'll get the services from them. I'm going to let traditional shopping. But this is a direct opposite way of shopping. That is you're shopping from your own home rather than going into the shops. Which requires one to visit brick and mortar stores and shopping malls and everything. So if you want to get something, you're going and visiting the shop for purchasing it but that is not needed in case of home shopping so that's very one big feature so some of the famous home shopping retailers which we are familiar with are like ebay 
Amazon, ShopHQ and all, all those things. So these are some of the famous home shopping retailers which is working for oh, more than uh, one uh, like so, so many years it's working on. So in eBay, in Amazon, what we are doing, we are, per, we are searching for one good. We get so many retailers who will uh, sell or sell that good. From so many retailers, you'll pick one retailer according to your price and your uh, of your convenience and your preference. Everything based on your uh, preference, you're choosing one retailer and you're purchasing a good, isn't it? So all this thing is coming under home shopping category of e-commerce. Okay, so first one is television based shopping. So TV shopping has evolved over years to provide a wide variety of goods ranging from clothing, small electronic housewares, jewelry and computing, everything. So uh, have you seen Naptol? Naptol is the best example of television based shopping. So when you when you wake up, when you're on the TV, in uh, certain particular channels, there will be Naptol advertisements going on in which they will be selling saris, they will be uh, selling um, like uh, cookwares, they will be selling the uh, home decors or maybe any electronic things. So many things. There is nothing which is not available in Naptol. There are so many retailers. You can see uh, very funny advertisements sometimes, but you can like so many things are advertised and sold you can see it's just 999 so naptol is the very best example which i would like to state for television based shopping so they'll uh, they'll uh, introduce you the product they'll talk about the features of the product and they'll ask you to order the product in a particular number and you can also make such arrangements for uh, purchasing the same thing yes so everything is happening through a television so that is called as television based shopping so that is also an e-commerce what is happening in a television trading is happening so that is an application home shopping application coming under a television based shopping also oh, that is one of the examples so i hope you can you can visualize the naptol advertisements when i'm talking about it yes next one is catalog based shopping so it is it consists of catalog business or brochures based on the brochures they are selling the or they are you know, they are selling the goods uh, so many retailers will be selling the goods and so or maybe through cd rom catalogs so you will get a small cd it will um, uh, introduce you about all the products that are available in their stores and then that is also one type of catalog sh based shopping or through online interactive catalog that is the common way which we see can you see uh, there is an Amazon web service in which they will divide all the products under categories and under different categories they will put one one catalogs and based on that they are advertising. You can see it like you can see the televisions here. You can see other things uh, like electronics like laptops here. Then you can see the televisions here. Mobile devices are there. So many categories are there and based on those categories they will give you catalog advertisement so catalog advertisement is something like an online interactive catalog which, which will introduce you about the products and features of the product and will help you to purchase it online so basically what i was speaking is e-commerce application home shopping applications will come under two categories first one is television based and second one is catalog based most commonly seen are catalog based itself Okay, so that is all about home shopping. You're sitting at your home and purchasing or trading accordingly. Next is home entertainment. So entertainment provided in the home by means of audio video equipment with the help of internet. So movies on demand and interactive games are one of the most commonly seen home entertainment that are available. So there are so many um, entertainment apps like Amazon Prime, Netflix, and everything what are these people offering you they're offering movies on demand isn't it if you demand for a movie you can watch it online if you're subscribing it so that kind of application is also an e-commerce application which will help you for home entertainment yes and then you can also hear music online when you're requesting for it you can like 
pride music, uh, wink music, so many musics are there, like, so all those things will also come under home entertainment, so that is also a part of e-commerce. Okay, so these are some of the companies which I'm talking about are the e-commerce uh, companies which are working on it. Then interactive games. So you can play interactive games. You can play online games like even Ludo is an online game is available. You can nowadays you can watch cricket by uh, introducing or including all your, all your friends. You can comment each other and then watch it together. Everything you can see the advertisements in the TVs, right? So, so many things are there. Those applications are the applications which are consumer oriented application which will help you in home entertainment. So, that is one. Next one is micro transaction of information. So, micro transaction is a business model where users can pursue virtual goods via micro payments. What do you mean by virtual goods? So, uh, this is what I was asking uh, to you people in the group that is. Uh, when you are playing or if, when you are uh, playing an online game or when you are a part of a game. So what happens is that you will be in need of purchasing things. So whenever you are completing one level of your game for the next level, sometime you will have to purchase a one particular costume or purchase uh, an equipment which will help you. Maybe it will be an armor, may maybe it will be a sword, maybe it will be a gun. Maybe it will be your own protection costume, everything. So that kind of virtual goods which you are giving by giving, uh, by making a micro payment. What do you mean by micro payment? You're not paying money, is it? You, Sometimes you will give the coins which you have collected from the previous level. Is it? That's interesting, no? So when you are giving the one one point one coin, if you give, you will get this. If you give three, if you lose three coin, you will get this thing. So that is known as microtransaction. Why are this a part of e-commerce? What is the use of, um, uh, what is there? What are the people earning from this? You can ask me. But the developers will get some revenue when you use uh, this microtransactions. Okay, so that, that is a revenue source for them. A game developers, when you're purchasing something online, the virtual goods, when you're purchasing, there is a kind of revenue which the developer is earning. Okay, so some examples of microtransactions are games like dead or alive players purchase horse armors and costumes that players can directly purchase. When you give something which you make virtual payments or micro payments, you can purchase something online. That is uh, from uh, that is why I was asking about the loot boxes. Microtransaction is an advanced method of loot boxes. So uh, you can directly, you not, in the first case, you'll collect things. But in this case, you can directly purchase whatever is needed in the game or which will support you in the game. So that is all about the e-commerce or consumer-oriented applications of e-commerce. Okay, I hope that is clear for you and from the next uh, class we'll talk about the uh, like models and other things which is related to that unit. Okay, I hope that's clear. If you have doubt, feel free to ask me. Thank you.